When you want to build a machine learning model for classification, the simplest possible classifier that you could work with is logistic regression. Let's understand the intuition behind using logistic regression as a classifier model. You have an important project view and you know that you have a deadline coming up. There are two approaches to deadlines. You start your work five minutes before the deadline. Good luck with completing your project then. Or you take things to the other extreme where you start your work one year before the deadline. That might be a bit of an overkill. As you might imagine, neither approach is optimal. Let's work with this extreme. You start work on your deadline a year in advance. The probability of you meeting the deadline is 100%, but the probability that you get other important work done is 0%. Let's say you start 5 minutes before the deadline. Probability of meeting the deadline is 0%. The probability of you getting other important work done is 100%. Neither approach is optimal. What you're looking for is the Goldilocks solution. At one end, you work fast, you start late and hope for the best. At the other end, you work hard, you start very early and do little else. The middle path, working smart, is the best. You want to start work on your project as late as possible, but still be sure of making your deadline. You can define working smart as 95% probability of you meeting the deadline, 95% probability of getting other important work done as well. Let's plot working hard, fast and smart on a coordinate axis. You have time to deadline on the x-axis and you have the probability of meeting your deadline on the y-axis. At the bottom left here is when you start 5 minutes before the deadline. That's when you have a 0% probability of hitting the deadline. At the top right here, you start 1 year before the deadline. The probability of meeting the deadline is 100%. So you have Work hard at one end, work fast at the other end and somewhere in the middle is work smart where you have a 95% probability of hitting your deadline. So for this 95% probability, how many days before the deadline do you need to start? In order to figure this out, you need to fit a curve on this data and this curve is an S curve. This S curve is the logistic regression S curve and we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. But once we have a curve fitted on the data, you can see that for 95% probability of hitting your deadlines, you'll need to start work on your project 11 days before the deadline. That's of course in our hypothetical example. Take a look at this S curve that we've drawn here on screen. We have the time to deadline, that is when we start work, and we have the probability score along the Y axis. And this is the fundamental intuition underlying logistic regression. Logistic regression helps find how probabilities are changed by actions. So let's take a look at the same S curve, but with logistic regression in mind. Here we have the time to deadline and probability scores on the Y axis. If you start anywhere below this threshold that you see highlighted here on screen, the probability of you hitting your deadline is 0%. Start too late and you'll definitely miss. On the other hand, the other end of this S curve, where your time to deadline is much larger, You've started too early and you'll definitely make it. So this active region that you see here at the center of your screen is where you can work smart. Working smart is knowing when to start. There's probably a threshold somewhere here where the probability of you meeting your deadline is greater than 50%. And this is what underlies the logistic regression classification model. Y is hit or miss, 0 or 1. This is binary classification. X, let's say, is the start time before your deadline. P of Y is the probability of Y equal to 1, which is what you get when you apply logistic regression to your X data. So when you use logistic regression as your classification model, what you're really doing is fitting an S curve on your data. Logistic regression involves finding the best fit S curve where A is the intercept and B is the regression coefficient. The output of logistic regression is a probability score, probability of y taking on a certain value. And the mathematical formula for logistic regression is probability of y i equal to 1 upon 1 plus e to the power minus a plus b x i. And really, you don't need to know the mathematics at all. S curves are widely studied, well understood. All you need to know is that logistic regression tries to fit an S curve to estimate probabilities of outcomes. And how does this apply to classification models? Well, 
the outcome predicted by your logistic regression model is the one which has the highest probability score. So you have a bunch of training data points. What logistic regression tries to do is to fit an S curve on your data where the equation of the S curve is as you see here on screen. When you train your logistic regression model, what you're trying to find is the best fit S curve through all of these points. The whole objective of training your logistic regression classification model is to find this best fit S curve, which involves finding the best values of A and B in this formula.